From Leonardo DiCaprio almost being eaten by a shark to another celebrity getting shot by a sniper, there are a ton of ways Hollywood celebrities were almost killed. But first, let's start with an actor who was almost killed in a plane crash. Back in 2015, Ford took off in his two-seat avian husky light plane from Santa Monica Airport. Shortly after takeoff, Ford declared an emergency due to engine failure. He had no choice but to make an emergency landing. The actor crash-landed on the nearby Penmar Golf Course in Southern California rather than on busy land. He suffered from diverse injuries. A shattered pelvis and a uh, broken back and a uh, serious bump on the head with a major laceration. Furthermore, although he suffered from amnesia after this terrible plane crash, he still remembers some part of it. I remember uh, the engine stopping. I remember that part very well. I remember telling the, the tower what I was going to do. And that's the last thing I remember till five days afterwards, actually. Hold on. Picture yourself on the golf course with your friends when suddenly a plane falls from the sky and crashes right in front of you. Then Harrison Ford steps out. What an unforgettable afternoon that would be. So Ford's a lucky man, unlike George Clooney, because what was a passion for him ended up in an accident that left him inches from death. See, Clooney has always dreamed of living life in the fast lane and there was one motorcycle he's always had his eyes on a Harley-Davidson Ultra Limited. So right when George got his first big paycheck, he headed a Harley dealership and splashed 38K. But maybe he should have been thinking twice about passing on the right of a vehicle. Back in September 2007, George Clooney and then-girlfriend Sarah Larson were driving north on Boulevard East in Weehawken. What started as a joyride quickly turned into a life-threatening situation, as when he tried to turn right on the two-lane road, he collided with a 1999 Mazda Millennia. Clooney was thrown off his bike and left lying on the pavement with severe injuries, including a hairline fracture of a rib and road rash. Miraculously, he survived the harrowing ordeal. However, some years later, this incident would be repeated again. It was in Sardinia, and I was going about 70 miles an hour, and a guy turned in front of me, and I was launched. I, I was, it, it does all those things you see in the... But luckily, Clooney still made it to perform and continued to make headlines. Kinda reminds me of the criminals who almost killed an action star just to make the news. Some time ago, Jackie Chan was involved in a prolonged conflict with the Hong Kong Triads, the Chinese organized crime groups that had infiltrated the local film industry and regularly extorted money from producers. Reportedly, when Chan first arrived in America from Hong Kong, he asserts that director Lo Wei employed Chinese gangsters to threaten him. Once he got off the plane, a triad sniper fired at him on the airport tarmac. Later on in 2012, Chan recounted that 20 triad members armed with machetes later surrounded him while he was dining out in a Hong Kong restaurant. To protect himself from these attacks, Chan armed himself with two guns and six grenades and hired bodyguards from mainland China. Eventually, he paid off the triad, and they left him alone. It may seem unbelievable that 20 knife gangsters could attack a famous actor in public without it becoming a major news story, but would you really doubt Jackie Chan? Nowadays, Chan lives worry-free unlike the acting star who was the victim of a shark attack. Back in 2006, the audacious star of The Wolf of Wall Street participated in an underwater expedition in Cape Town, South Africa in 2006, during a break from filming Blood Diamond. See, little did he know, this trip invitation by a charity to protect sharks would turn into a terrifying experience. DiCaprio found himself face to face with one of the ocean's most feared predators, a great white shark. The massive creature circled ominously, its razor-sharp teeth mere inches from DiCaprio's trembling form. The tuna kind of got stuck on the top of the cage and the, the great white leapt out and tried to bite it and it went into the cage with me and half of its body was in and out and I flattened down at the bottom. And it was this far away and it chomped a few times, but 
I survived. With adrenaline pumping and survival instincts kicking in, DiCaprio managed to stay calm and slowly retreated to safety. But see, the following star was almost killed as revenge. 50 Cent's influence has been so significant that plots against his life started even before he achieved fame. McGriff, an American former drug lord and gangster, led over the years the gang. Supreme Team, which operated a drug network that generated $200,000 daily and was linked to eight murders in 1987 alone. Back in May 2000, Curtis Jackson, more commonly known as 50 Cent, survived being shot nine times by the rival drug lord McGriff in a Queens neighborhood. Court testimony revealed that he became the target of a three-man hit squad after writing a critical song about the ruthless drug lord Kenneth McGriff, also known as Supreme. They're punished by watching my success. Repeatedly, if you watch, they'll tell you that, that and that. My shoes were bring. You see what I'm saying? He's from my neighborhood, you understand? This incident turned out to be a stroke of luck, as he was recovering when his would-be killer was murdered three weeks later. Additionally, there were allegations that Mike Tyson ordered a hit on members of the gang believed to be involved. I bet you didn't expect Tyson to be mentioned in this story. Indeed. I know you want to hear more about Mike Tyson, so just click this video right here. Just click it.